What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're out in Colorado, high up in the Rocky Mountains, checking out a recently completed home theater build. We, this one's a cozy, family-friendly home theater and poker room, kind of a multi-purpose, get the family together, watch movies, whether it's dedicated large production films through our Kaleidoscape or just Disney+, Plus. whatever you want to watch in here, you can. I'm going to be talking about all of the complexities, equipment choices, things like that, that we decided for this particular space. Now, keep in mind, we did do a whole home tour. This is a 12,000 square foot home and features an indoor pool, has a lot of outdoor stealth acoustic speakers, as well as Focal 300 series pretty much throughout every single room in the house, from the guest room to the primary, game rooms, everywhere. I mean, you'll have to go watch I should drop a link up here if you'd like to see the whole home tour. Dream Media is nationwide and we do hand curated system design. We'll tailor packages specific to your needs and budget. Whether you're DIY or you need some help, we got preferred installers in over 28 different states who can help you get it put in. So reach out today for a free consultation. All right, guys, let's get into this video. Welcome back, Dream Media family. All right, so let's dive right into it and talk about all of the complexities of this gorgeous room here. As you can see, let's just start with kind of the aesthetics and, and the, the build of the room. It's a very relaxed, family-friendly space. As you can see, we got this big, nice sectional here at the rear of the room, and then in front, some nice little bean bag loungers. Plus, at the rear of the room, we have the poker table set up with an additional six seats. So plenty of seating, everybody kind of just sprawl out and relax. We got carpet on the floor with a really nice, thick, dense carpet to absorb the audio. As you can hear, we could use some additional acoustics, but we're kind of fighting an uphill battle with this space because we got a wall of windows over here. When we lower the shades, we do get better acoustical performance. So when watching a dedicated large production film, they will be lowering the shades and that's how the system's set up to be utilized. We do have some acoustic uh, mountains <laughs> over here that serve a design element. Um, as well as a purpose to absorb some of the reverb off of this left wall. All right, first I wanna talk about the speakers, guys. In this space, we are featuring one of my all-time favorite brands, Focal, made in France. They have a very wide range of products to choose from, which is why I'm such a fan. Whether we're doing homes, indoor, outdoor, freestanding speakers, bookshelf, on wall, in wall, weatherproof, in ceiling speakers, which they just released here recently. They even have speakers you can put on your yacht. Whole collection of quality speakers that have their trickle down technology. Now today I'd like to feature their Focal 1000 series, which is the top of the line in their architectural speaker lineup. So let's talk about the architectural speaker lineup a little bit. We have the Focal 100 series, which is their entry level price point. And we move up to the Focal 300 series. You go from a titanium inverted dome tweeter on the 100s, and then you jump up to the 300 series and it features that inverted aluminum magnesium dome tweeter in addition to a flax woofer, which is like what you see in their Cantus series. So huge step up. Um, this entire home, we're featuring 300 series speakers, so it just sounds awesome. And we got the Audio Control Director Series DSP amplifier, whole home audio amplifier, powering up those 300 series speakers for the whole house audio. Now we did a separate amplifier and processor just for this one room. Now the 1000 series is a a huge step up, guys. This is like the tech that they're putting into their Sopras and their Utopia floor standards. We got a beryllium inverted dome tweeter, which is gonna deliver really just tack sharp clarity in your high frequency, guys. The configuration that we're using here is a 7.2.6 Dolby Atmos system. So let's talk about that a little bit. Our front speakers are 
wall mounted up behind our acoustically transparent screen. We are running the Focal 1000 series, the LCRs across the left, right, and center. In addition to some Focal 1000s as our heights right above the screen to add a little more dimension to the front sound stage uh, because we can't really put in front wides in this space because of the fireplace and we can't do surrounds because of the windows. So this was a good solution to add a little bit more to our bed layer in addition to surrounds at the rear of the room. So that's where we get the seventh for our bed layer. Let's talk about our two subwoofers. We are running at the front of the room ported subs. Combination two SBS PB 3000 Pros. SBS is one of my favorite speaker manufacturers and subwoofer manufacturers. Really good performance. I mean, their subs hit and they don't break the bank. I'm actually running in my own um, home theater, kind of my flex space. I got my kid a ball pit and we got a bunch of cozy stuff set up. I'll, I'll provide a link to it as well up here. But at my own theater, I did a full build for you guys and documented it. I'm running two of their PB16 Ultras, which are the big boys. It's like end tables <laughs> at the rear of the room. And I have plans to add in two additional subwoofers, but I may switch over to a full sealed system when I integrate in the additional two subs. Back to SBS. I'm a fan, guys. If you haven't heard of SBS, you gotta check them out. We are a national authorized dealer of SBS and carry the full line. They manufacture beautiful subwoofers at a great price point. So that's our two subs. We got seven bed layers, two subs, and we have six overhead Dolby Atmos speakers. And in particular, we're using the Focal 1000 series A6s. So that's our six overhead Atmos. Um, and at the rear of the room, I almost forgot, we're running the Focal 1000 series, uh, the IW6s. All right, so that's our audio system, our speakers. Let's talk about what's driving this system. We have a audio control, the Maestro X7, which is a really high quality, preamp that will essentially decode our audio and send all of the appropriate effects to each individual speaker and even upscale our audio if necessary to ensure that we're utilizing all of the speakers in the space. The Audio Control Maestro X7 not only processes our audio, but it also handles our video signal. So all of our sources plug into the preamp and then the signal is sent via HDMI up to our JVC NZ9, which I'll get into in just a moment. Now let's talk about amplification for this system, guys. You need quality amplifiers to efficiently drive your speakers and maximize their performance. We're using the Audio Control Savoy G4, two of them. Audio Control is one of my favorite amplifier manufacturers. It's kind of at that sweet spot for um, getting towards high end, but not really breaking the bank. It's not crazy expensive, but it is a step up from say your Denon and Marantz products. Now let's talk about the processors calibration software. So they use Dirac Live, which is what we use for calibrating the speakers to enhance the quality of the speakers and assign all the appropriate crossovers as well as the output to the speakers and do room correction. It's really important to get your speakers dialed in and crossed over properly properly and the gain set to each speaker so that, you know, one isn't just blasting or your effects aren't coming in strong enough, but also you want to help with the reverberation in the space. Um, room correction software from Dirac Live will substantially improve the performance of any audio system, regardless of how terrible your acoustics are. Um, like I said, in this space, it's not too bad. You can probably hear from my voice. We do have quite a bit of reflection, especially here at the rear of the room. But if I were to step, say, over here um, into the space more, like right here, um, you can hear it's a lot more dead because furniture plays a huge role in the performance of your audio system. So we have a nice rug, we got cloth couch, we got these big bean bag chairs. Um, so everything in here, um, is absorbing that audio, plus this acoustic uh, mountain panel that we have over here on the sidewall. Now that we've covered our audio system, let's move on to our video. In this room, we're utilizing a JVC 
NZ9, also known as the JVC RS4100. This is an 8K laser projector, guys. The bulb days are gone. In this situation with the NZ9, we're able to get 3,000 lumens of light output, and we're broadcasting that onto our screen innovations slate 1.2 ambient light rejecting screen ambient light rejecting alr is a really cool technology if you want to have some light in the room when you're viewing here at dream media we really specialize in hand curating the package specific to your room not just um, a standard package like a lot of companies what we did in this situation is the homeowner wanted to keep these giant windows and have the space open up um, say in the summertime so that they have that indoor outdoor experience but didn't want to compromise quality of video so what we recommended is this ambient light rejecting screen now it's going to accept the light from the projector but reject out the ambient light and it really does a good job this particular fabric messi rejects roughly 65 percent of the ambient light now there is one step up the black diamond material from si and that rejects 85 percent we wanted to go acoustically trans parent as well. What that means is you can go big on your screen, as big as you want, and hide all the speakers behind it, and still reject out your ambient light. Now, this particular screen has AT, has ALR, and also is their zero edge model. Zero edge meaning it kind of looks like a TV. It has a half inch bezel that's wrapped in velvet that goes all the way around the screen to help absorb that light scatter or any over scan if you're aligning it and it's not dead on. All right, and to give you a little example of the image quality that you can expect, I made a separate video for you guys showing with the lights on, with the lights off of this particular room. And I'll drop that link up there if you wanna watch the full video. But I'll put a little quick demo scene here so you can see how inky these black levels are. It's pretty impressive. Pretty cool, right? One thing about JVC is their DILA technology, auto tone mapping, frame adapt HDR. What that means in a nutshell, guys, is that it is going to automatically adjust your picture scene by scene and frame by frame to maximize the picture quality. Nobody does it like JVC. All right, guys, now let's talk about our source. The most important thing in any home theater system is the source. You want to ensure that you're starting with the best possible content, right? We are using Kaleidoscape, the ultimate movie player. It delivers reference level audio and reference level video, giving you the ultimate director's cut content. When you look at the file sizes, they're substantially larger than say a file size on a Blu-ray disc in many cases. In addition to that, you're also gaining access to the movies early before anybody else. But probably the number one most important thing to notate with Kaleidoscape guys is the fact that it stores the movies on the hard drive. You're not having to stream your feed. Kaleidoscape is the king. Their UI is absolutely phenomenal, easy to use. They have an application where you can order your movies when you're out or in other parts of the home. It'll download right to the server and you play them back in lossless, full resolution, just as the director intended. They also have some cool features like scene selection. You can hand curate your own scripts of your favorite scenes. And so when your friends come over, you can hit, you know, your script, which will show like some of your favorite scenes and really like blow their mind. Um, I, I love that feature. In addition to macros uh, for automation, say you have like a masking screen. Uh, we have two-way screen masking screens. We have four-way masking screens and we can uh, automate all those triggers with Kaleidoscape along with Mad VR to make it a seamless process. Um, so a couple other things that are in the space that I think is really cool. They do have a bathroom at the rear of the room. I didn't really mention that. I think that is like awesome to have in a dedicated space you know, use the restroom back to your movie in two seconds. Um, it also has a shower in it. They also have a concession area over here in the game room for mini fridge, microwave, things like that. In addition to um, a game area uh, for the kids to play.
play basketball, air hockey, arcade, pinball, which we do now officially sell, guys. If you're looking for to deck out your concession area, we have partnered with Phantom Arcades and we made a dream arcade, which I'll drop the link for up here. Uh, it is insane, guys. Over 10,000 games has Focal 1000 series speakers in it, all the goodies. Anyways, that space is really awesome where the kids can hang out and you can kind of uh, socialize and bounce back and forth between the theater, say on like game night. Games are gonna populate in a 60 by nine image, which will fill this entire screen, giving you a beautiful, really impressive 150 inch picture that puts you in the game. And keep in mind with our whole house audio system, we can also pair together the game with other rooms so that you don't miss a beat. All right, let's talk about a couple other small things that aren't necessarily top of mind when building a home theater, but are still really important. Where's our equipment, guys? <laughs> we got it all over here, hidden in this closet with the rest of the equipment or most of the equipment for the house. Um, we have everything in there from our Wi-Fi gear. We did a full arachnid system with probably 20 access points throughout the entire property. We got our 16 channel NVR from Luma terminating in there. So we have surveillance um, covering every inch of the perimeter of the home. In addition to a watt box, battery backup, UPC. It's important that we regulate the power going to our rack because low voltage equipment is prone to lightning strikes and power outages damaging the product. So we wanna ensure that our product is protected and lasting for years to come. In addition to that, we have a strong signature series rack that is housing all of our equipment, keeping it nice and cool, ventilating all of the heat. One other thing that I'd like to add in is the lighting control. We have Lutron lighting control in addition to Lutron shades that can knock out the light with the press of a button. And then we have Josh AI for our control system. Got a Josh AI remote here as well. And this is great because um, you can either use the voice control um, or your guests who may not feel comfortable or know how to use the voice control, although Josh is very easy. They can just pick up the remote, hit Collide Escape, and it'll turn on the projector, turn on the amplifier, turn everything on, turn it to the right input, and you just use it. So with Collide Escape, you know, they have this really nice interface here where it'll kind of shuffle the movies. Their UI is absolutely phenomenal. They have all the industry leaders and what's really nice is you get it before anyone else. With the Collide Escape system, you can get multiple players. They have their Terra the server and then they have their Strato player. Um, players go in each room, but you can access the server, which can live in your rack on all players. It's really nice because you can have it throughout your entire home or multiple homes, all accessing your movie collection seamlessly. All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap on this home theater tour here in Colorado. Keep in mind, we are nationwide and would love the opportunity to build your dream home theater or whole house AV system. We do it all, guys. Whether you want a crazy 178 inch TV popping out from behind your infinity edge pool, or you want a, a folding crazy 137 inch TV from CC, or maybe something like a Sonos soundbar and subwoofer. Whether you want something very simple, a wireless solution, or you want a complex half a million dollar home theater, we have a dedicated service for any of those requests. With our Dream Media Plus program, um, you can take your home theater above and beyond what you see here today. We create 3D renderings, providing construction drawings, sight lines, seating charts, screen size, the full nine yards to really make sure that we're getting specifically exactly what you had envisioned at the start of our design service. And then we see it through with white glove service, ensuring perfection. That's called Dream Media Plus. So head over to our website at dreammediaab.com today and learn more. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and be sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.